Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Seth Goggin and I'll be taking this session of tunings. Uh, so I'm going to introduce you to the guitar. So there's different types of guitars. There's electric, which you might play rock or jazz on. They plug in to an amp. Uh, there's acoustic, which is quite similar to this, but it's got steel strings. Uh, you might use that to play folk or sing a songwriter stuff. And then this is a classical guitar, so it's got nylon strings and they're quite soft and easy to press the notes down. Um, so we'll start with the posture, just make sure you sat comfortably, your elbow just goes on the edge and just make sure you've got totally free movement of your arm uh, and the same with your left. Um, so it's tuned, um, we'll go from the bottom string, I'll refer to the string as, as 1 to 6, uh, so it goes E, A, D, G, B. From lowest pitch to highest. Uh, so I'm going to go through a couple of techniques, some with your right hand, some with your left hand, um, but before we do that I'll just, uh, we'll go through a couple of chords. So the first one I'll show you is a D chord. So this uses the bottom four strings, so that's strings three to six. Um, the first one you play is D and it's open. An open string means that uh, you're not holding a note down on it, it's just like, it's just the string. So the D is open. Um, on the G string, you put your first finger on the second fret, that's an A. On the fifth string, you put the um, third finger on the third fret, that's a D. And on the sixth string, you put your second finger on the second fret. That's an F sharp. Uh, so we'll go through that again. So you're playing the bottom four strings. The first one is open, that's a D. The second one is your first finger on the second fret, that's an A. The third one is third finger on the third fret, that's a D again, they're the same. Um, and the fourth is your second finger on the second fret. That's the F sharp. So once you've got that, it should sound like this. Uh, so we'll go through some uh, techniques with your right hand. So there's different ways to play. Uh, you can strum, that's probably the most common. So for instance, strumming is just... There's plucking, which is uh, and then there's finger picking, which is uh, so we'll go through those in a second. Um, but just so you've got something to practice those with, I'll give you a couple more chords. So you've got the D, um, an A chord. A that goes from the A string, so you're playing the you're playing the bottom five strings from string two downwards. Uh, so the first one again is open. That's just the A, um, and then your first, second, and third all go on the second fret, uh, and then the E is open. Let's go through that again. So you're playing the bottom five strings, first, second and third, all go on the second fret, and it sounds like that. Uh, so once you've got that, um, then there's a G. So this uses all the strings. Uh, you've got your first, uh, you've got your second finger on the third fret of the first string, that's the G. You've got your first finger on the second fret of the second string, uh, that's a B. Those three strings are open and then you've got your little finger on the third fret of the E string, that's a G again. So second finger on the third fret, first finger on the second fret, open string, open string, open string, little finger on the third fret.
Uh, so really slowly, um, um, play those in order. So D, A, G. And then ride it off by just going back to the D. Uh, so you might want a minute to get to grips with that, but uh, once you once you have done. Uh, we're going to practice a couple of different techniques. So the first one's just strumming. Um, so when you're strumming, if your hand should just be going up and down like that, just like keeping a nice rhythm. Um, we'll just go for that first. So that's just... Again, I'm playing... Notice I'm playing from the third string downwards there. I'm not playing all the strings because that sounds wrong. They're not part of the chord. So just the bottom ones, just like nice and soft. Uh, and then if you want to, if you've cracked that and you want to be a bit more rhythmical with it, um, you can do this, so. So really slowly that's down, down, up. practice that. To the A. Again playing from the second string, then to the G. Then back to the D. Uh, so once you practice that, um, we'll go for some finger picking. So this is a bit more complex. Um, just takes some, just takes a little while to get your get your sort of hand around it. <clears throat> uh, but your thumb alternates between the third and fourth string, and then in between you're using your index finger and your middle finger to fill in the gaps. So it's. do the exact same but you'd go from the second string and you would go up to the fifth string so you're just moving it down one so that would be and then for a G you can just use those two fingers or not even those two fingers. You can just put your middle finger on the G string. It's probably the easiest one to prefer. Um, and then, so you'll be using the first string, the third, fourth, and fifth. So that'll be. And then back to the D, which is the bottom four strings. Cool, so those are two, two techniques to practice which are really versatile. You can obviously, you can use them over any chords and it just, uh, it just helps you, helps you develop your playing and once you crack those you'll be able to start moving on to some more slightly complex stuff. Um, so we'll just go through uh, a couple of, a couple of scales. So um, we'll do one, so I'm going to do G major. So. G, the chord that we just did there. So G major, um, I think of major as a happy sound. So that's a G major and it sounds quite, it sounds quite jolly. A G minor is, sounds a bit more, a bit more sad, I guess. But yeah, they're, they're the common connotations would be happy for major and sad for minor. Um, so the major scale, a scale is a series of notes um, in a certain key, so you can have an E major scale or an A major scale. Uh, so now we're going to do the G major scale. So it starts on the fourth string, so that's the G string. Um, G, A, C, 
that's the second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Open string, that's a B. C, first finger on the first fret. D, third finger on the third fret. E, that's an open string. F sharp, second finger on the second fret. And G, that's the third finger on the third fret. So a scale means that you can play those notes over that chord and it will fit in basically. Um, uh, so when you're doing this with your uh, right hand, you'll be alternating between the two fingers. So. Um, what you also might want to do, what I do sometimes, is just rest my thumb there so it keeps my hand steady so I'm not like plucking the wrong string. Um, uh, so we go through that slowly again one more time. So that's G, A, B, C. D, E, F sharp, and G. Um, and in terms of the fingering, it's open string, second fret on the second finger on the second fret, open string, first finger on the first fret, third finger on the third fret, open string, second finger on the second fret, and third finger on the third fret again. Um, so that is all going to go through today um but yeah hope you enjoy your practice and um there'll be more sessions soon and we can develop and move on to some uh, slightly more advanced techniques and some more chords so enjoy <laughs>